Natalie and Lauren made fun of my socks today. Look at these. They're actually tapped as. Did you report the outage? Mm -hmm. It's really hard finding lighting right now. No pun intended. Our power's out. What are you about to do, Tapta? You just gonna sit in the dark? <laughs> I'm not tired. I wanna take a nap. Zoe and I are gonna go do something. What do you wanna go do? Okay, you know. That's what you do. Ooh, Zosh. Mm. Are these embarrassing? Oh my god. Dude, someone's snappy. Jeez. First of all, we're leaving soon. You sure you don't wanna go with us? Yeah. Ugh. Like a powder? Yes, yes, it's the powder. Oh, babe, we have a hundred. <laughs> How ironic. What? <laughs> She's a mind reader. We have like two hours of sunlight left, and our power is out, so there's no electricity here. So the rest of this vlog could be in the dark. Just a heads up. So I feel like. All right, we're out. I love you. Alright girl, you ready? Alright, you ready? Let's go. I'm sorry you can't see me very well, but it's actually popping up here. Zoe, stop pulling me. Stop pulling me, Zoe. Feels good to see people outside. Yeah, it looks like it feels good, Zo. Come on, pretty girl. All right, we've turned around. We didn't go very far. Zoe! So one thing I want to talk about. All right. It's so windy. Watch it. <sighs> Never mind. I was going to... I was gonna do this whole talk right here, but this fence is like 12 feet higher than me and I don't want, I just think sometimes it's hard to judge and appreciate what's in front of you. You can lose sight and it's hard to evaluate your current situation if there's nothing else to offer. And sometimes you fantasize about these things and you put, thing, you put things up on a pedestal and you think that it's gonna be, that it'll be so much better. And then graduation goggles kick in. It can be sad too. Let's go. All right. You know, oddly enough, last weekend I did a video about uh, taking chances, and I, I can link it below. And I know that this video like kind of contradicts what I said. I guess the simplest way to say this is if you make these big changes, no matter what, and I mentioned this in the last video, there's always an opportunity cost. And most of the time there are big sacrifices. And those sacrifices are exactly what I'm talking about in this video, that it's sad. It's just sad to let go sometimes. I don't mean to bring the mood down. This isn't what this is about. I just, on a positive note though, Let's turn gears here a little bit. Tap and I have something. We have an announcement. I know that sounds like we're having a baby, but it's definitely not. Sorry, Megan. I don't know if she'll want to share. Tap does. No, nah, she. Oh, I gotta put something on her leash. Our walk's almost over, pretty much back to the car. We have a pretty fun weekend ahead of us. Oh, and the next weekend after that, and the weekend after that. Yeah. Basically all of May's. When summertime hits, we don't know when to say no. We're back.
Tempta, I figured it out. I know why our power's out. Look, 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 look. Basically, the, I don't know, something was wrong. Great observation, Joe. All right, we're almost home. Let's see what mom's doing. Hello? Yeah. Are you just sitting in the dark? Yeah. How long did you nap? Oh, we could, uh, we could light. Yes! Yeah! She's disgusting. Welcome to Verizon. Sunday is Jasmine's birthday, isn't it? Yeah. Are you all doing anything? All right. All right, love you too. Love you. All right. Bye. Bye. So, but yeah, I agree. Like, it doesn't make sense that, like... Do we have a double chin in this? <laughs> no. The video is about graduation goggles. That was, like, one of the most accurate scenes in Him Yum ever. So what's your true opinion on it, though? You know this video is going up tonight, right? I just edit that stuff out. <laughs> you need to be careful about what you say about I mean, graduation goggles are, like... They're so accurate. It's because change is hard. Because when you're trying to leave the terrible situation, all you can think about is the good times, not the bad. And think about that last month of your senior year where you're literally, you're going to miss all those people and no graduation goggles. Who is this? Who did be? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Unless her name's wild. Really quick trip down memory lane. It's currently 2017. Tap and I went to Australia and Fiji for six months in 2010. So through our university, we both signed up. We both went together. These are the people that we went over on the same program as. Miss you guys. So here's more of the Great Barrier Reefs. Me scuba diving. Nemo. This is the beach that we were at. I'm gonna make a separate video on this, but this is actually the beach where I proposed to tap the. This is the night I proposed to her. The reason I bring this up tonight, speaking of graduation goggles, this isn't a perfect analogy. At the end of this trip, that book that I just showed you, tap the made this book, this literally skims the surface. This book, This book says a lot more. I really don't know that I could describe and like the friendship and the level of friendship that we ended up building with people. And in the moment, I can promise you, I still remember that last night. That night at like, I don't know, midnight or something, we were like packing to leave. It was so difficult to let go. In a lot of situations where you have a choice, you're faced with this dilemma on whether or not you should move on or hold on to what's going on right now. And I know it sucks to let go. It's, it's sad, it's... But in hindsight, I really do think that the moments where you have to let go make everything else exponentially better. I really do. I really do think that the moments where you have to give up on that something and you have to sacrifice the current what's going on, it really, really makes you appreciate what you had. It makes those moments special.